I worship, adore you forever. Well, God bless you, you beautiful, beautiful people, you too, and on Facebook and to the whole wide world this beautiful Monday morning. This is Attitude Monday. Don't let your attitude take advantage of you today. Beat that attitude up today. I will go to work with a good attitude. I will go and talk to the daycare provider with some love and kindness. Come on, somebody. I will be good to my coworker today. My God, I will not have no attitude on this Attitude Monday. And you know, a lot of people get up on attitude, especially on Monday. Tuesdays is a little better. Mama used to say something that was uh, uh, her little quote. She used to say, Junior, you're going to go get a job or go after something. Don't go on Monday because people is mad from the weekend. Some people is broke. My God, and they don't want to fool with you. Wait till Tuesday. They feel a little better. Or go on Thursday. Don't go on Friday because people don't want to fool with you. They want to get their check and their money and go, woo-woo, have a party. Come on, somebody. So she used to say, go to places that you got to go pay bills or whatever. You want to go get extensions on your bills. Go on Tuesdays and Thursdays because people have an attitude on Monday. My God. Well, today I want to talk to the audience that the people that don't think that God cares nothing about them. God already have already chosen you, especially when he bring you through something. Like I was on drugs for 11 years or so. My God. And he brought me out of that. And this is what the scriptures talk about in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Let me read this in your hearing. It said, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But you are a chosen people. Come on, somebody. He didn't forget about you. You are a chosen people a royal priesthood, a holy nation, my God, God's special possessions that you may declare the praise of him who called you out of darkness into this wonderful light. So if God had brought you out of anything, right there is enough to let you know that he loves you. Come on, you never thought that you would get another job, but you got it. You never thought that you was going to get your car back, but you got it back. Come on. You never thought that you was going to beat cancer, but you did. You never thought, my God, that your wife would come back home. Your husband would stop cheating. But it all happened. Come on. And there's thousands and thousands of things that I can say where people have got delivered and God has brought them out of that darkness into this beautiful light. So just remember the scripture, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. You're a priesthood. Come on. You're a royal. You're a royal priesthood of people. You're a chosen people. You're a holy nation. You have that in you. God have called you to do something. And just love on God. He'll direct you to what your purpose is in life. If that make any sense on this Attitude Monday. Don't let your attitude take you over today. Get ahead of your attitude and, and do a little test today. Don't let your attitude win. You be in control of you. Come on. When your attitude starts coming up on you, come on. Shake that stuff off. Go into prayer and say, Lord, I just don't want to have attitude today. Look up to the heavens of heaven, whatever you're going through in your life, and put Jesus Christ, God himself, first in your life. And I'm telling you, I'm a witness to it. God will change your life and bring you to this marvelous life. I love you all. You guys be blessed. And just remember, turn your light on. God bless you all.